How's it going, Damon Comic Book Investments? If you're seeing this right, yes. Look at the screen right there. $10,000 with 15 bids, two days left for this C2E2 acetate cover. That is insane. When literally you can scroll right below and you can buy it for $8.99. Um, there's also one for $500. Here's another one for $500. Buy it now. Uh, there's some that have bids for $449. I still think that is too much. Uh, here's one that just started for you know, 190 or whatever, stuff like that. Um, but this one has $10,000 $10, bid, $10,100 to be exact. Uh, it's insane. But obviously this isn't accurate. The reason why this is doing this, I can tell you exactly why, is because um, someone's trying to hype up this book. There's people out there that are trying to hype up this book to be worth more than it is. So then the next person goes, oh, I'm going to pay $900 for it. This is a good deal. You know, I'll pay $500. I'll pay $500. You know, whatever it is, $449 for this book. <clears throat> if you're not too familiar with the acetate cover, um, basically it was, it was a variant uh, where Black Flag put a piece of plastic <clears throat> with some art over it and called it a variant cover. It's the same thing as if I took this comic book put a piece of plastic on it and drew on the plastic and then I called that a variant. Marvel does not recognize it as a variant. Uh, CGC stupidly, I will admit stupidly, uh, slabbed it in a blue label. They should have gave it a qualified green label. <clears throat> but yeah, and it's plagued with a bunch of issues. Um, <laughs> I love the back. The back cover says, in God we entrust. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it was at the Chicago convention, uh, Black Flag Comics made this variant cover, variant cover, and one of the controversies is they, before the average person could come and get it, they sold hundreds of copies to influencers, which then turned around and flipped them for hundreds of dollars more, more on that later. Uh, then also a thing that Black Flag did, which I think was really stupid, was when you started in line, it was $85, but as the line went, started going down and uh, Black Flag upped their price, the remaining copies to $100 until it sold out. Um, yeah, so this is the picture right here. It has like this plastic thing you can see around it. Yeah, I mean, this right here is this dumb. Like this is someone trying to hype this book up and make people think that it's worth more than it is. I did a video on variant covers and talking about like they all go down uh the first one out of the gate that's going to be cgc if cgc actually encases them i think they realize they made a mistake and probably won't or at least give it a green label um because they put staples through the book and yeah they gave some that were a 10-0 imagine someone imagine you taking a book and trying to restaple something to it how could that like you're going to damage it a little bit now granted the acetate cover is a, like a harder plastic and it probably doesn't really get ruined but the comic inside underneath yeah so you know if that's the case then i'm just going to start you know putting plastic over you know my 2.0 of you know fantasy 15 i don't have one i wish i did but if i had a 2.0 fantasy 15 put a hard cover plastic over it and it'll turn into a 10.0 mm, there we go but yeah these books let's see what some have actually sold for recently this one says 2000 best offer oh it's a 99 oh ooh. Uh, someone ah, well um 700 dollars here's one actually sold for 700 dollars 600 dollars 500 500 400 400 a lot of these people are going to get burned that's what's going to happen um they're going to get burned bad uh i don't know about the 99 I don't know what they paid exactly, but we'll see. Um, but paying $700 for this, unless you are one of the first that buy this, then send it out to CGC, get it back, comes back blue, and then you're able to turn it on eBay. You might get some people, but overall, this controversy um, is warranted. Like, I don't think putting a plastic over it should warrant a 10 um, or a 9-9. Um, Black Flag had every right, and it was fine for them to do this. But where they messed up was they started... There's nothing wrong with $85 a piece. If that's the price to start, that's fine. 
But what's really wrong and messed up is where you start charging people more. That's just messed up. That's bad for business in the long run because it puts bad taste in people's mouths. Where they also really messed up was they gave influencers a bunch of copies um, out of the gate. But, and they got to cut the line before anyone else. And I get it. You could say stuff like, well, they bought it ahead of time. Well, it doesn't look that great when all of a sudden they skip the line and then they get hundreds of copies to themselves, 50 copies, whatever it is. And to those influencers, you had very small time thinking. Because think of it this way. You are taking 50 to 100 copies from someone that wanted that book. And then you're turning around and telling that same someone that didn't get that book, oh, you wanted the $85 book? It's $300 now, $250, whatever they charge for it. You're now turning around to your customer, to your fan, to the person that follows you and looks up to you and comes to you for advice and all this kind of stuff saying like, oh, you want this book uh, that I basically took from you? Why? Not that I took one, but I took 50 or 100. And now I'm turning around and trying to sell it for uh, three times the price because I want to make some money, which is fine, but don't. Be surprised when that fan is mad at you and other fans are mad at you. Like, that's very short-sighted. Uh, someone asked me what would I have done in this situation. Number one, I wouldn't have waited in line because I don't care about this book. Um, now, if it was a Turtles book and there's Kevin Eastman out there and he had some special acetate, uh, acetate uh, signed whatever, I would have waited in line for that. But you know what I would have gotten? One copy for myself. And at the most, at the most, I would have gotten three copies one to sell to pay for the other two copies that I would have kept. I would have graded one and kept one uh, ungraded. That's what I've done. At the most, most likely I would have gotten one, which I've done before. I've waited in line for Kevin E. Smith stuff and I've gotten like one or two um, at the most, depending on what it is. But yeah, that's what I would have done. But you take all this stuff and here's the thing. Think of it like this and your reputation is everything. So now granted, if you were to talk to these influencers and said, this will happen if you do this, they wouldn't have done it, right? But they should have, you know, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. But think of it like this. Let's say they bought all their copies for like $5,000 and then flipped them all for 30000 Okay, you made $25,000. That's, that's great. But how many customers have you lost for a lifetime? That would have probably massively equaled over that $25,000 mark. How many people are mad at you? How many people are going to stop watching your content, either on YouTube or whatever social media you use? Uh, how, the long-term effects of that, how, how big is that going to be? It's probably going to be huge. Um, it was short-sighted, um, in my opinion, for these influencers to do something like that. Let alone, it's like, think, think, for like you're, think about a fan. You're waiting in line, you want this book, right? You're at a long line. All of a sudden, you see your favorite content creator walking up. Oh, awesome. Picks up a short box full of it, and you're like, he, wait a minute, he just walked up. I've been, I've been in line for like two hours and he just walked up and grabbed a bunch. Is, is there going to be any more left by the time I get up there? You go up there, oh, I'm sorry, all gone. And you're like, great, that person just walked away with what could have been the book I've been standing in line for, for two hours for and he walked away with it. And let me go, oh, what do you know? They're selling it online now for three times the price, two times the price, four times the price, whatever it is. Or in this case, the 10,000 one, you know, way more. Um, how does that make you look? That doesn't look very good at all. That's just my two cents. Um, I honestly think this book will go down over time. Uh, I would not buy it at these prices. Like at the normal, um, I think the normal cover that, let's see, do they have one on here? Uh, these are all just the, oh, these are more expensive one. Go down. I think, yeah, you can get the normal kind for $20, not with the, the acetate on it. $10 right here, one sold for. So that's where this one will be heading. Now, I won't be heading that low. It has this controversy around it, which will boost it a little bit. But I think a lot of people are going to, more people are going to be turned off from it. And over time, it'll be, give it six months. It will not be selling for three hundred dollars, or five hundred, or whatever. Six months from now, uh, it's probably maybe in the hundreds, like hundred fifty, and then a year from now, probably you know, maybe like a hundred bucks, something like that. And it won't be it won't be worth this price. I guarantee you. You can come back to this video. Tell me if I'm wrong. 
Uh, but I guarantee you, it will not be five hundred dollars, seven hundred dollars a year from now. It won't be. Um, and I think this will actually open a lot of people's eyes because what's going to happen is they're going to do this once, and then there's going to be a bunch of people who are going to jump on this bandwagon of doing these acetate covers. So. Well, watch out. You're going to see a bunch more of these acetate covers. And what's going to happen is CGC is just going to go, hmm, this is not good for business. So we're going to give them a green label or a no grade or something like that. And then instantly people will stop doing that acetate stuff. Unless it's approved. If it's approved by the publisher, like whatever publisher they're using, Marvel, DC, Image, whatever, and they go, yes, this is a natural variant, that's a different story. But if people are just attaching these things to them, you're going to see a lot more of this and then CGC will probably come out and be like, we're not going to give that a blue label or we're going to give it a green or we're going to give it some kind of bad label that people won't like. And that will probably stop that and people won't do it as much. But you're going to see a lot more of this because, frankly, Black Flag Comics made a ton of money off of this. All these influencers made a ton of money. Now, Black Flag probably got so much crap that they're like, maybe we won't, we won't do it again, but then there'll be some other company that will do the same thing and it'll be over and over and over. That's kind of it on this controversy. Um, please don't buy this book at this inflated price. Please don't. Like, you don't really need it that bad. You, like I said, you can buy, if you want the book, if you just want the cover without the plastic on it, buy the $30 one, $20 one, whatever it is. All right, have a good day.